how to use the micrometer so this is the micrometer okay as you see here it's locked okay this is locked so I cannot move it this is open so I can okay move it first of all this is divided the millimeter to 100 parts so this is a very sensitive device sometimes during usage of this device it has some errors zero errors what we call the zero errors how we get the zero errors I make this okay and the, please don't make it with me don't make it okay because uh, we have sensitive things here when I am close to, to, to the reading that I want just to read the zero error when I am very close okay I have to use this and here only one click because this is a very sensitive device that's why I don't want to make any pressure to my body of measurement no 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 okay see only one click just listen now you hear it yeah. that's it if you make two clicks you should repeat your reading when you hear this one click lock your device okay and now try to to find the the zero error so what's the zero error here I'll put it here okay and I'll focus it and see what the zero error for it how much? this is the division that divides the, the millimeter to what? to 100 divisions so actually each division here represents one part of 100 part of millimeter okay? okay now what I have, I have one division under zero I mean this is the zero reading okay so what we call the, I have error here, right? this is one division under zero so this is under zero mean to correct this I should put plus because this is under, okay? to correct it I should put the reverse thing so I will put so zero error here for the micrometer I should mention it here, zero error is what is the plus 0.01 millimeter because this device measured in millimeter okay why I put a plus because I get one division under zero and as I said this is one division of 100 so this is 0.01 okay of millimeter I have 0.01 under zero so to correct it I should plus 0.01 above zero to correct my so this is zero error so when I read when I take the measurement of B and H I should add this okay always to my reading in this device let's now open it to some value and I want to you see I will make it randomly okay say that I look at okay who can tell me actually this reading this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 millimeter I mean this 5 represents 5 millimeter okay but what about the divisions here this is 0 so this is half this is 1 millimeter so this is 1.5 millimeter as you see this in between okay 2 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5. 6 is not appear, right? So what, what the divisions appear here? It's 5.5, right? 5.5, so I'll write it here, 5.5 millimeter. What the secondary reading? How much? 20, 21, 22, 23, right? this is 23 but 23 divisions of 100 divisions okay so this is actually it's 0.23 millimeter you get my point secondary division this is part of millimeter so 23 of 100 means 0.23 okay 0.23 add to this reading the zero error this 0.01 millimeter 
So this gives me how much? This gives me 4, 7.5. This is the reading. Okay? As you see, we divide the millimeter to what? To 100 divisions. I am going to 74 divisions of 1 millimeter. So this is very accurate. If I make it in centimeters, so this gives me 0.574. I mean, three digits after this amount. It's very accurate. Right? And it's a very sensitive device. Okay? Okay, I'll put it to other reading and I want you to give me the reading. This is how much? Who can tell me? Twelve point forty six. Okay, let me check. This is a twelve millimeter plus forty five forty five millimeter, right? Forty five percent millimeter plus point only one millimeter. This gives me twelve point forty six millimeter. Is it right? You know when I said 12.46, I mean this is close to be 12.5, right? Where is the 12.5? This division where? It's still here, right? Right. So this is not 12, actually, because this division is not appear totally. This is 11.5. Don't confuse, because even me, I'm confused with this. So when I get the result, I just compare this with what I have here. This is close to 12.5, right? But this is close to be 12, right? Not too close to be 12.5, right? Close to be 12. So, I am sure this is not 12, I am sure this is 11.5. I mean, like this, you can take the reading. Just compare your results with what you have. Here, it appears to be 12. So my reading should be close to 12, not 12.5, because 12.5 does not appear, right? So this is, so this is 11.5 plus this, so this will give me... Eleven. 11, sorry, 11, 11.96, and this is very logical. It's almost a 12, right? Do you get the point? Like this. And don't confuse, because all of us confuse with this. No one can go with the... He gets this result and see, is it? If not, so this is the reading before it. Exactly. Easy, right? That's it. Okay.